guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at the cousins in a binary tree 2 problem which is from lead code number 2641 and we will be solving this problem using the most optimal one parse bfs approach if you don't know about bfs then you can click on the i button or find my bfs video on the description link below let's now uh, look at the problem statement given the root of a binary tree replace the value of each node in the tree with the sum of all its cousin values so two nodes of a binary tree are cousin if they have the same depth with different parents return the root of the modified tree note that the depth of a node is the number of edges in the path from the root node to it before seeing the example let's look at the constraint in this case the constraint says that the number of nodes can range from 1 to 10 to the power of 5 so definitely n square will become 10 to the power of 10 so we should not go with n square rather a linear algorithm or an n log n at best now if you look at this example then uh, the problem statement is asking you to find the level sum so the first level sum is let's say 5 level only has just a single item always for the first level so this will be 5 minus 5 0 so you see a 0 in the resultant tree now for the second level you will find that the level sum is equal to 4 plus 9 that is 13 but both of them are actually siblings because their parents are same and therefore their sibling sum will actually be getting subtracted from the level sum and so this will be replaced with the value 0. Now if you look at the last level then the total level sum is 10 plus 1 11 plus 7 is 18. This is the level sum. If you look at uh, the first node which is valued 1 its sibling sum is 1 plus 10 which is equals to 11 because 1 and 10 cannot be cousins right. So that has to be subtracted from 18 and you will get 7. So 7 will be the value for both these nodes for 1 and 10 it will be replaced with 7. Now for the value of this 7 will become it does not have any sibling. So the level sum is already 18 and its current sum is 7 so that will get subtracted and this will become 11. So the idea of this entire problem is to maintain the sibling sum for each of the node and subtract the sibling sum from the level sum. So you can also solve it with the two parse approach but we will be looking at the most optimal technique. So let's look at the simple BFS one parse approach. As I said the idea for finding the value in the resultant tree for any node will be equals to the level sum minus the sibling sum. Okay because sibling cannot be cousins. Now let's start our parsing from the first node. So when you look at the uh, first level then we have to insert the first node into the queue by default to do a uh, level order traversal simply and then we will be assigning the current level sum with the root value because the root node will only have one node in the beginning okay now we will be finding the size of the queue so this is level number zero this is the size of the queue it is one so we will be uh, popping out exactly one item from the queue before going to the next level now once we start our level order traversal I will always keep the next level sum equals to zero because I will be tracking what is the sum of the next level while performing a current level. In this problem we can maintain the sibling sum at the current node itself. I will show you the technique how it is done. So I will assume that 5 is the sibling sum in the beginning because uh, I mean the root node is the only node at the level 1. So if I have to replace it with a certain value, it will be equals to the current level sum, which is level sum minus the sibling sum, which is 5. So that is why this will get replaced with the value 0. Okay. And now I will be checking if it has a left child and a right child. So if it has left child, then I will be adding it to the sibling sum 4. And then if it has a right child, then I will be adding it to the sibling sum and this becomes 13 because these are the children of the same node and that is why they are siblings so once you have found that 13 is the sibling so i will be replacing this 4 with 13 and this 9 with 13 so that when i process these nodes then i don't have to find who are the siblings and what are the exact sums right so if while doing the level order traversal itself if i can replace the node values with the sibling sum then the problem just boils down to subtracting the sibling sum that is the current node value from the level sum okay now this sibling sum 13 is the sum of both these siblings so this can be added to our next level sum which is equals to 13 right and if the left and right child exist then definitely i will be pushing them into the queue so i'm just writing 13 for them which is representing their changed value now our first level parsing is done this 5 was actually popped out 
before going to the next level the current level sum will be assuming a value 13 so the current level sum will be equals to next level sum before going to the next level and this will be reassigned to a value 0 the next level sum and again we will restart counting so i will find the size of the queue this is level 1 the size of the queue is 2 so i will be going to all these nodes one by one so take out this 13 uh, what is the level sum for this current level it is equals to 13 so what we do is the sibling sum is 13 the current level sum is 13 so subtract them and replace it with the new value which is 0 so this 0 has a left child which is 1 so i will be again assigning them to the sibling sum 1 and it has a right child which is 10 so i will be assigning them and this becomes 11 right so this becomes the sibling sum so so now this sibling sum will be added to the next level sum which is equals to 11 and after that i will be updating these values to 11 and 11 just to store their sibling sums and this will be pushed into the queue i'm first pushing the left child and then i'm pushing the right child so my processing for this node 0 is done i will be going to the right hand side node so i'll be popping up this 13 again i will be subtracting this sibling sum from my current level sum so the current level sum is 13 this is 13 so this becomes 0 and i will be checking if left child exists no if right child exists yes so the total sum is 7 so this sibling sum will now become 7 so 7 will be appended to the next level sum which will become 18 and then i will have to replace this sibling sum to both left and right so right is already 7 if the left would have existed i would have inserted it into the queue if the right would have existed i will insert it into the queue so yeah 7 is present i will insert it so my level 1 traversal is done after this traversal is done my current level uh, sum will again be updated to the next level sum because we are going to the next level so this becomes 18 and my next level sum will be reassigned to a value 0 and then i will be finding the size of the queue so the size of the queue here for level 2 is equals to 3 so i will be parsing one node after another so take out the first node which is 11 value now in this case 11 representing the sum of the sibling and the current level sum is 18 so subtract them and write 7 here and now you check the left and right child you do not have anything so the sibling sum will still be 0 and you don't have to push anything because you don't have any left or right child now we will process the next node so 11 will be taken out again we will be subtracting 11 from the current level sum which becomes 18 minus 11 so this becomes 7 and now uh, we will be checking again with the left and right child they are not present so sibling sum will remain 0 and since left and right child are not present so nothing will get added to the queue now i will again be taking out the next node which is 7 so uh, this 7 will be subtracted from the current level sum so this becomes 11 and after subtracting we will be checking if there is a left or a right child no so sibling sum will not change and also uh, the next level sum will not get added and the queue will not append any node so when the queue becomes empty our entire process is done and uh, this is the resultant tree which has zero at the root node uh, again two zeros on left and right child then we have seven seven eleven at the last level so i hope you are able to understand this in this case the time complexity is order of n right and the space complexity is order of n as well because of the queue so let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the bfs one part solution where i am given the root node and uh, i will be taking a queue and uh, the root will be initially pushed into the queue the current level sum will always be the root value because at the first level we just have the root node then i will be performing the level order traversal uh, using a while loop so first thing i will be initializing is the next level sum for any current level that we are parsing i will always keep a track of the next level sum then i will be finding how many nodes are there at the current level by finding the size of the queue and i will be performing uh, the operations those many times so we will take out the uh, front of the queue and then that will be the current node to be processed i will be changing that current value to the level sum minus the current value so i'm assuming that at any current node i will be storing the sibling sum i will be replacing it with the sibling sum so 
if I subtract the sibling sum from the level sum, then that will be equals to cousin sum. Okay. Now I will be finding the sibling sum for this node because if this node has a left child and a right child or if it has any one of these nodes, then this will be contributing to the sibling sum and that will become x plus y. Okay. So if the left child exists, then uh, add it to the sibling sum and even if the right child exists, add it to the sibling sum. So once you have found the sibling sum, then this addition value x plus y can be added directly to the next level sum. Otherwise, you could have added them separately uh, any way you want to do. Then I'll be checking if the left child exists, then the left child value will be replaced with the sibling sum. Okay. And the right child values exist, then the right child value will again be uh, replaced with the sibling sum. So when this happens, uh, definitely we have to push these items into the queue to be processed later. And uh, after traversing through the entire level, when we want to go to the next level, before that, the current level sum will be assigned with the new value of the next level sum because we are moving to the next level and the next level sum will become zero whenever we restart our processing for the next level, right? And at the end, we have to return the root node. So this is the entire approach. I hope you were able to understand this. If you still have any problem, feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.